Welcome to another video guys. In this video I'm going to be installing the deep core uh, Maelstrom CPU liquid cooler onto the i7-6700. Uh, it is a non-K CPU and I basically bought this as uh, liquid cooler only for the aesthetics. Um, hopefully we'll have a little bit of thermals but I don't really need it anyways. The stock cooler was pretty good in the first place. So again it's just for aesthetics. I do believe it's going to make my build look a lot better. So I'll just show you the inside of the case right now, how it looks, and then I'll go into what's in the box of the deep cool Maelstrom 120K. So this is my build right now. I've got the i7-6700 with the Intel stock cooler. I've got a 1060, uh, Nvidia 1060, 60GB. I've got a 240GB SSD. I've got a MSI H170 Gaming M3 motherboard, 16 gigabytes of Corsair DDR4 memory, and a two terabyte hard drive hiding behind there. So I'll be taking out this stock cooler and installing this beast instead. So this is actually the cheapest liquid cooler um, I could find, and it was only $65. So let's open up the box. This is about Okay, so inside we've got the fan, so inside there, we've got the actual head, the liquid cooling part of us, and we've got the radiator, with the radiator right here. So let's just put these aside. thermal paste that, that came with the stock all on there so I can put on the fresh paste that's already on the back of this right there as you can see. Okay. So I'll give you a quick overview of the parts. We've got the bracket over here. I'm using the parts for the LGA 1151 because that's the motherboard that I've got. And then we've got the um, radiator screws over here. That's the radiator itself with the CPU head cooler. And then the fan, um, fan screws. And then these are like the brackets that you come onto uh, the CPU head over here. So I'll put those all together for you now. So I attach the screws onto the bracket and then you just place it onto the back of the tennis, the motherboard. Like so, just move that cable out of the way. Right, and it's in the back. And then we just, and then I got the two other brackets and I screwed them onto the both sides of the liquid cooler head. And then now we're just going to put this onto the CPU and then screw it on with these uh, nuts, I guess. All right, so before I install the CPU cooler, I've got to take out obviously the old one. So I'll be doing that now. Side of the case inwards and cooling the radiator. I'm um, using the screws that came in this that says fan 
um, these will be long screws so then they'll go through the case holes and then all the way through to the fan and the radiator holding everything together so I'll get that done now all right so everything's pretty much installed the pump head is installed the radiator and the fan is installed I've routed the cable out through the back for the fan then I've taken it out from here and I'm going to plug it into the system fan 3 like I think I would need to mount this Okay, so it's uh, plugged in, and now uh, let's turn it on and see if it works. Okay, so everything's set, now it's time to turn on the power and see if it works. Okay. You hit a lot of liquid. I'm not sure if that's normal, but it's blinking. Okay, so the liquid noise has settled down now. I can't really hear anything too much. Alright. Looking cool. Let's see if yeah, so it's pulling sucking air in. It's breathing the light on the pump head is breathing, which means it's working fine. Alright, yeah, that's cool. So let me just open the computer and then see how well the fan temperatures are. Right, so the CPU temperature is at 30. Oh, you can't. Too much light. Right. So CPU temperature is at 33 degrees, 39, 44. So I don't really think it's um, affecting the CPU temperature too much. It's pretty much the same. But uh, I reckon the build looks a lot better. Already. It's no ugly Intel Blue logo. It's a nice deep cool logo. Adds a little bit of light. So thanks for watching guys. I reckon this was $65 well spent. Um, it really did improve my system. Um, I'll also be doing more enhancements to it. Um, I'll be putting uh, better fans into it. Uh, RGB fan maybe or flop fans. Because uh, I like to have that purple and red setup thing. Um, my next video will be on the Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard, right over there. Uh, I've done a review, I've been doing a review on it, so I've been giving my thoughts on that. So stick around, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video or you got something from it, um, and leave a subscribe, because um, I'm really low on subscribers right now, and it will really help me to grow my channel. So, have a nice time guys, and see you in the next video.